In our top story tonight, it's been nearly two months since the Savannah man was shot and killed by a police officer in Carver Village. Now a local civil rights organization is calling for transparency into the investigation. WSAV News 3's Chase Justice has the story. Monday afternoon, the Racial Justice Network gathered right here outside of Savannah City Hall to publicly demand the immediate release of all body and dash cam footage having to do with the officer involved shooting that claimed the life of Saudi Lee. I just want justice for all Saudi Lee. That's all I want. Standing alongside Saudi Lee's family, the Racial Justice Network is demanding transparency into the investigation of the officer involved shooting that took Lee's life in late June. Just last week, the GBI finished its report of the incident, which has since been turned over to the Chatham County District Attorney's Office for review. We would like to see that videotape immediately. Since the GBI has finished the investigation, there's no reason to hold back on the video. This family needs closure and they need closure now. Those close to Saudi Lee say he had obtained his concealed carry permit from the state, granting him legal permission to carry a firearm. On top of that, the Racial Justice Network argues that because of Georgia's constitutional carry law, there's no reason that an officer should have shot Lee. Because it's an open carry, he should have not been chased by anybody. He had that right to have that open uh, a weapon. But then on top of that, he went and got a permit because he knew that some, something or somebody with echo. They question why Savannah police officer Ernest Ferguson was even allowed on the force. They cited reports that said he was released from Coastal State Prison. They say since joining Savannah PD, Ferguson has been reprimanded multiple times for not turning his body camera on. He did not only wreak havoc on our community, but he was a menace on every job he went to. He, he was being reprimanded for beating up inmates. Why was he allowed to come on SPD? Now we reached out to the DA's office for a potential timeline of when that body and dash cam footage may be released. They said since the case is still active, they cannot provide any information on the matter at this time. Once the case is no longer active, they'll make the determination whether any parts of that file need to be released. Reporting in Savannah, Chase Justice, WSAV News 3, on your side.